Since I believe that a person cannot lose their salvation, and I've demonstrated in other videos that a true believer continually believes and that that person can never through any future sin, according to the words that are used by Jesus and through the scriptures, that person will not lose their salvation. One of the passages that are brought up often is Hebrews chapter six, starting in verse four. So let's go there. Let's look at the passage and see if it actually says that. My contention is it doesn't. In six chapter four, it says, for it is impossible in the case of those who have once been enlightened, who have tasted the heavenly gift and have shared in the Holy Spirit and have tasted the goodness of the word of God and powers of the age to come and then have fallen away to restore them again to repentance since they are crucifying once again the Son of God to their own harm and holding him up to contempt. Now, why does this not say that a person can lose their salvation? And again, we're using the term lose their salvation. If you want to say walk away, stop believing, not abiding, whatever term, we know what we're talking about. A person can be saved today and not be saved tomorrow. This passage is not saying that. Why? Well, what people tend to focus on is in verse six, the falling away it says, and then have fallen away. Well, if that word is true, it seems to some people that, and it used to be the same for me, I used to believe that this was a, a, a passage that proved, that demonstrated that a person could fall away. The problem is you focus on the falling away and you miss the point of the passage. As a matter of fact, you miss the whole point of the writer. What you want to be careful to do is not to go searching for passages that have words that would seemingly in your mind think that it proves your point. Because what ends up happening is you lose context of what the whole matter is about. So now, before we go back to the verse, let's, re let's recall what the whole book of Hebrews is about and who he's speaking to. The writer is speaking to Jewish believers, people who believe that Jesus is the Christ, he's the Messiah. However, they've got all these years, these centuries and centuries of following the law. They are, they've come out of the law, out of the old covenant, now they have a new covenant. The old covenant required them to have their sins atoned for every year, year after year after year. And so in their minds, because of their tradition, because of their upbringing, they believe that they have to have their sins atoned for again. Or else, if not just like the old covenant, they would lose their standing. They would no longer be in right standing and they would need to have their sins atoned for. And so the writer is trying to comfort them and he's using this I believe, and many scholars do as well, he's using this hypothetical. He says, if a person could fall away, well, then guess what? It would be impossible. The reason why I say it this way is because people focus on the falling away, but they don't focus on what he said initially. So let's go there and look again. He starts off verse four, for it is impossible. People miss that it is impossible and drop down to verse six and have fallen away. For it is impossible in the case of those who have once been enlightened, who have tasted the heavenly gift and have shared in the Holy Spirit. So now clearly the writer is speaking about believing Jews, believers. This is not about someone who's not. So don't let anyone tell you that, that he's not speaking about believers. He is. OK. And so those who want to find ways to prove that you cannot lose your salvation, don't do it. Um, in, the, in an incorrect fashion by stating incorrectly that, that the writer of Hebrews is not talking about unbelievers. He is clearly speaking about believers. And, is, and he's saying that if they have uh, been enlightened, have tasted the heavenly gift, have shared in the Holy Spirit, and have tasted the goodness of the word of God and the powers of the age to come, and then have fallen away, what does he say? To restore them. What, what, what do you mean to restore them? Well, it is impossible to restore them. OK, this is you can see this in basic English grammar. It is impossible. Then you've got in between there a bunch of participle phrases. So you take the it is impossible to restore them again to repentance since they are crucifying once again the son of God. So now the point is this. The only way that their sins have been atoned for is that Jesus Christ, who played the part of the high priest mediating for between God and man, who plays the part of the scapegoat, who takes away the sins of the world, who also plays the part of the sacrificial lamb. His crucifixion represents that. And so since that's not going to happen again, if you think that has to happen every year, 
just like under the old covenant, under the atonement under the old covenant, that's not going to happen. And so it would, and so if that were the case, if that's what's needed to happen to atone for you again, like in the old, well, then it would be impossible for you if you were to have fallen away. His whole point is to comfort them saying, you're not going to fall away. Now, my question is this, if anyone believes that you can still fall away, if these Jews were to believe that, what was the first thing that he said? It is impossible. It is impossible, guys, to bring them back. It is impossible to renew them, as the word says, since you would have to crucify Christ all over again. Very few people who believe that you can lose your salvation teach that once you lose your salvation, it's impossible to get it back. Most folks believe that once you lose it, you can get it back. But according to this passage, and if you want to use this passage as one to say that you can lose it, then this passage also states that it is impossible for you to get it back. So my friends, I hope that's helpful. It should be clear, according even with all the other passages that we've brought up, that you cannot lose your salvation.